Meghan Markle has previously described herself as a foodie. But which of her favorite foods will Meghan have to stop eating while she is pregnant? The wife of Prince Harry has been vocal about her love of food, wine and the art of cooking in the past. She once told Today, being from Los Angeles, I was conditioned to like Baja-style food from the womb. Meghan also shared her own recipe for making fish tacos at home, grill some peppers and onions and a couple fillets of fish, a flaky white fish works best. Season everything with salt and pepper, a little lime and stuff it all inside of a warm corn tortilla. Few bites of food make me happier than that. Meghan also described perfect sushi as an essential part of her healthy diet to I swoon. The 37-year-old often posted pictures of her omelette inventions on her now-deleted social media accounts. Meghan even named her lifestyle blog the TIG after her favorite tipple, Tignanello wine. Daniel O'Shaughnessy, director of nutrition at The Naked Nutritionist, warned some of Meghan's favorite foods could cause adverse health effects to her unborn baby. He said, sushi and raw fish and shellfish can cause several infections such as parasites and bacteria infections. These can cause adverse health effects and harm the fetus. Pregnant women are advised to limit seafood to twice per week due to the possible mercury contaminants. Pregnant women are also advised to avoid drinking completely as it increases risk of miscarriage and stillbirth. Even a small amount can impact the baby's brain development. It can also lead to fetal alcohol syndrome which causes facial disfigurement, heart defects and learning disabilities. Mr. O'Shaughnessy added it is important to ensure foods are cooked correctly, in order to avoid risks to the baby. He said, consuming undercooked meat increases the risk of toxoplasma, E. coli, listeria and salmonella. Raw eggs can be contaminated with salmonella. In rare cases this can cause cramps in the uterus leading to premature birth or stillbirth, which can include mayonnaise and other salad dressings. Organ meat can be eaten once per week as it can be very nutritious. However, it can lead to vitamin A toxicity if eaten too much, which can lead to birth defects. Also limit caffeine to 200 mg per day which is about 2 cups of coffee. This passes to the fetus which it is not developed enough to metabolize it. This can lead to low birth weight risk. The Duchess of Sussex will be taking her best friend and stylist Jessica Moroni with her on her tour of Australia this month, it has been reported. Jessica and her husband Ben are expected to fly from Toronto to Cindy to join Harry and Meghan in an unofficial capacity, meaning they will pay their own expenses. Meghan and Prince Harry are embarking on a 16-day tour of Australia, Fiji, Tonga and New Zealand which begins on Tuesday at the Sydney Opera House. The Duchess will have to change outfits up to three times a day while away, and may turn to Jessica for help, reports The Times. The couple will also be joined by an entourage of up to 10 staff on their first major overseas tour since tying the knot in May. The Moronis are based in Toronto, where Meghan lived while filming the TV show Suits, with their three children. Their seven-year-old twins, John and Brian, were page boys at the royal wedding in May, and their daughter Ivy, five, was a bridesmaid. The royal couple will focus on women's rights by championing disadvantaged girls' education, and going to a celebration for the 125th anniversary of women's suffrage in New Zealand. Meghan is expected to speak several times on the trip in contrast to the Duchess of Cambridge, who did not make her first public speech until a year after her wedding. A royal aide said, she's very confident and will be speaking several times throughout the program. With Jessica by her side, Meghan will have one less thing to worry about, meaning she can focus on her public engagements. It is believed Jessica has helped the Duchess with her style in the past, including on a recent visit to the Nelson Mandela Centenary exhibit at London's South Bank. The Duchess, 37, wore a sleeveless trench coat by the Canadian brand House of Nani. The thrilled designer publicly thanked Jessica on the brand's Instagram account for choosing the £629 dress.
She also helped Meghan plan her engagement outfit when her betrothal to Prince Harry was officially announced in November 2017. Jessica, who is married to Ben Moroni, the oldest son of the former Canadian Prime Minister Brian Moroni, is believed to have met Meghan in 2011 while the actress lived in Toronto. The McGill University graduate works in PR and as a wedding planner, and previously founded the Shoebox Project, a charity initiative that distributes shoeboxes full of gifts to women in need. Buckingham Palace declined to comment when contacted by mail online. Prince Harry's ex-girlfriend Chelsea Davy has arrived for Princess Eugenie's royal wedding, with Storm Callum's wind trying to steal her hat. Chelsea Davy arrived with Lady Melissa Percy, Charlie Van Strawbenzi and his wife Daisy for the nuptials of her friend Eugenie. Chelsea wore a navy dress and matching hat, similar to the outfit she chose for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding in May. Three of Harry's ex-girlfriends are set to attend the wedding of Eugenie and Jack Brooks Spank today at St. George's Chapel. Cressa Dibbon has arrived a short time later, in fits of giggles with a friend. Cressa de wore a blue dress with velvet pattern and matching headband. Ellie Goulding is also expected to be in attendance. The pop star's relationship was never confirmed, but speculation began when they were seen getting close at a polo match. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams previously told Express.co.uk, the list of the famous who are expected to attend to the wedding is a long one. Harry's former girlfriends Chelsea Davy and Cressa Dibbon is are certain to be among them. Zimbabwean-born Ms Davy started dating Prince Harry Duke in early 2004 and remained seeing each other on and off until 2010. And Cressa de was introduced to Harry by Eugenie in 2012 with the pair being friends. It also possible that Goulding could perform at the Princess Wedding, just like she did at the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's nuptials in 2011. Crowds gathered outside Windsor Castle on Friday for the second major British royal wedding of the year with Princess Eugenie, granddaughter of Queen Elizabeth, following in the footsteps of her cousin Prince Harry and his wife Meghan. Eugenie, 28 younger daughter of the Queen's third child Prince Andrew and his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, will tie the knot with Jack Brooks Bank, 32, at the Monarch's home to the west of London. Windsor Castle was also the venue for Harry and Meghan's wedding in May and Eugenie, ninth in line to the throne, has copied much of her cousin's blueprint for her big day. Singing and cheering well-wishers began to mass in the streets of Windsor in the shadow of the castle although there were far fewer people than crammed into the town for Harry's wedding. I don't think, the atmosphere, will be quite as good. There's not so many here as I expected, David Weeks, 77, bedecked in a Union Jack suit and bowler hat, told Reuters. I'm a true royalist. I was here for the Queen's 90th birthday. I was here for Harry and Meghan's wedding, I wouldn't miss it, I love the atmosphere. The ceremony will take place at the castle's 15th century St. George's Chapel with the Dean of Windsor David Connor officiating. Charity guests and 1,200 members of the public have been invited into the grounds for the occasion. One noticeable absentee will be Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, the wife of heir to the throne Prince Charles, as she is carrying out an engagement in Scotland. While Harry's wedding featured a fiery sermon from a U.S. Episcopalian bishop and a gospel choir, Eugenie's will be more traditional with a performance by Italian tenor Andrea Bocelli and the address given by Connor. Her elder sister Princess Beatrice, the maid of honor, will also deliver one of the readings, an extract from The Great Gatsby. A smattering of celebrities are expected to be among the guests with the daughter of singer Robbie Williams one of the bridesmaids. Princess Charlotte, 3, daughter of Harry's elder brother Prince William and his wife Kate, will also be a bridesmaid while her brother Prince George, 5, will be a page boy. After the service, the couple will embark on an open-top carriage tour of Windsor, although shorter than the one Harry and Meghan, now the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, took when thousands lined the streets of the town. The Queen will then host a reception for the couple and their guests at the castle. Eugenie, a director at London's Hauser and Verth Art Gallery, and Brooks Bank, 
who is European brand manager for Casamigos Tequila, which was co-founded by U.S. actor George Clooney, met in the Swiss ski resort of Verbier in 2010. Security around Windsor was tight, with the public having to pass through airport-style security checks to get near the castle and large numbers of police on patrol. As Eugenie does not carry out official royal duties, Republicans and some newspapers have said it is wrong that the estimated £2 million security bill for the event will be paid for by taxpayers with the royal family only paying for the wedding itself. Writing in the Times newspaper, commentator Matthew Bell said the grandeur of the wedding reflected Prince Andrew's desire to cement his family's royal status. When it is all over, Eugenie will continue to live with an identity experienced by a tiny minority, as a fully-fledged princess gawped at, envied and scrutinized by all, Bell wrote. Yet as the years roll by, and her royal status diminishes, as a peripheral figure of almost no consequence at all.